What if I told you that you could starve cancer without starving yourself? Radical, huh? Well, it's a fact. You will never defeat cancer if you keep giving it what it wants. Most guys over 40 are quietly terrified of cancer. You may look tough on the surface, successful, admired, but somewhere inside a nagging thought persists. Your mind is on that yearly exam, the mysterious lump, the PSA test. Here is the secret truth. We have been battling cancer with not so meaningful tactics. We are talking chemo and radiation. Yet, no one is mentioning what provides fuel for cancer cells daily, glucose. We have learned and we are told that sugar is safe energy. But cancer is a metabolic disease at its root, not so much bad luck in genetics. Otto Warburg found this nearly a century ago. Cancer cells are glucose addicts and struggle to burn ketones for fuel. Meet beta-hydroxybutyrate or BHB, the main ketone your liver makes in a low glucose condition. Current research shows that BHB can suppress the proliferation of colon cancer cells by driving them into quiescence, a form of metabolic hibernation. This isn't a fad biohacker concept. This is actual science that has been underappreciated for decades. This is what you can apply today. Step 1. Measure your morning blood ketones. Target around 1 millimole uh, for mild nutritional ketosis. Uh, step 2. Include MCT oil in your morning coffee. MCTs rapidly become ketones, providing you with a clean anti-cancer source of fuel. Step 3. Simply drop carbs and sugar, not as a fad, but to shift your metabolism. Uh, step 4. Watch colon cancer markers such as CEA every 3 to 6 months if you are at high risk. You are not just controlling weight or energy here, you are taking charge of your health. Cancer is a fan of sugar. You have a choice to love yourself more than you love bread. For anyone feeling trapped by fear, this might be the moment that changes everything. Share this video and be the reason someone steps into their true potential. Life isn't just about living longer, it's about thriving with purpose, power and freedom.